Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aram Gamer here, and today in this video, I'll be showing you how to purchase and install FIFA 22 on your PC for Steam or Origin, or even EA Play. If you are new around here, please feel free to go and subscribe. And also, if you're not interested in getting FIFA 22 but you want FIFA 21 because there's probably going to be a discount for it, click the pop up banner in the top right corner and it will direct you to the FIFA 21 tutorial. But other than that, let's just get straight into the video. So, what we do first is go onto your browser and you just want to search up FIFA 22 PC and then if you just scroll down here and you should be able to see the EA website for pre-order FIFA 22 Electronic Arts EA or it should say buy now FIFA 22 if the game has already released and as you can see here we can pre-order the game if you want to scroll down you can see more information about the game as well so for those who are interested in getting it through EA Play or EA Play Pro you just need to know that it's a monthly base or yearly base subscription platform that you use and you get access to like multiple EA games including the FIFA 22 so once you're paying it you will have for EA play you'll have 10 hours maximum of game time so once you've done 10 hours of game time on FIFA uh, you will need to buy FIFA in order if you wanted to continue so that's something to think about and for EA play pro you get unlimited time playing but obviously it's much higher cost so you play you're paying around 89 pounds so yeah, you get access to multiple EA games. So not just FIFA, there's other games from EA as well. But if you just want to play FIFA 22 and you want to have unlimited time playing it, just get it, just purchase it by itself. It's I think it's easier to do. But yeah, that's the options for EA Play and EA Play Pro. So first I'll go through how to purchase it through Origin, then I'll do through Steam. So for Origin, if you want to click pre-order FIFA 2022 through Origin, then it should redirect you to the FIFA 22 page. And it should automatically show the payment process. So what you're going to do is just go through the process of purchasing FIFA 2022. Now it should prompt you onto the Origin Launcher and if it hasn't done that already, if you just look at the left side of the Origins website and you should be able to see download, if you click on that download link right there. And then if you select download for Windows, then go through the process of installing Origin. So once the Origin Launcher has loaded and is now ready for you to use, because you've already purchased FIFA 22, it should be in your games library right there. If you want to click on your games library, and then you should be able to see FIFA 22. You can also purchase FIFA 22 via the launcher as well. It's the same process of doing it on the website, but you will need a launcher in order to actually launch the game. So for me, I have not purchased FIFA 22 on Origin yet, but for people that have purchased FIFA 22 on Origin, you should be able to see it there and you should be able to select it and install it. As an example, I'll just do it with Apex Legends. If you click on FIFA 22 for you, then select your game language, and then choose your file installation location. Then click next, and it should begin to start downloading. So if you look at the bottom left, you should be able to see the process of FIFA 22 installing. And once FIFA 22 has installed and is now ready for you to use, you should be able to launch it through the game library or the homepage. And yeah, that's how you get FIFA 22 on Origin. <laughs> so for Steam, if you want to click on pre-order or buy now for Steam, it should take you onto FIFA 2022 Steam page. So if you scroll down, you see more information about the game and also make sure that your PC meets the system requirements in order to play FIFA 2022. So if you scroll back up and click add to cart for the edition you're purchasing, then click purchase for myself or purchase it as a gift for someone else. Then select your payment method and go through the process of purchasing FIFA 2022. <laughs> so once you've purchased FIFA 2022 on Steam, you now need to go on the launcher. So if you haven't got the launcher, if you just go back a few pages, then you should be able to see an install button at the top. And then if you click on that install button and then click install, then go through the process of installing the Steam launcher. So once the Steam Launcher is now ready for you to use, if you just go onto my library at the top, also you can purchase FIFA 22 through the store page as well. But as you've already purchased FIFA 22, it should show in your library. And from there, you'll be able to install and then launch the game through there. Now for me, I've not purchased FIFA 22 on Steam, therefore it doesn't show for me. But for you, because you've already purchased FIFA 22, the Steam will recognize it from your account and it should show FIFA 22 and it should let you install. So as an example, I'll just use CSGO as an example of installing a game on Steam. So let's just pretend that that is FIFA 22. What you want to do is click on it and then click install. And choose your file location and then click next. 
and then it should start to begin downloading. At the bottom of the Steam Launcher, you should be able to see a download manager. If you click on that download manager, it should show you the process of the installation for Fifi 22. So once the installation for Fifi 22 is complete, you should now be able to play the game through the Steam Launcher in your game library. So that is how you purchase and install Fifi 22 for PC. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section and I can help you out as much as I can. Please feel free to go and subscribe. Uh, I have more tutorials coming out soon. So if you have any other games that you might be interested in purchasing, I may have a tutorial for it. So yeah, please feel free to go and subscribe. And with that all being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take, take care guys. Peace.